like one of these days. All the time. Wolftick Nation, welcome to another episode of Wolftick Videos. <laughs> <laughs> making, sure, making sure the microphone's on. Welcome to another episode of uh, Wolftick Videos. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, opening some mail. And we've got some mail yep. over there that's going to be pretty damn awesome. A lot of you guys have been asking about uh, this particular fork. Uh, been constantly hounding us on this fork. But what, what, why would you say the word fork right off the bat? I don't know. Just, fork, just... fork, 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 fork. <laughs> what are you pulling mince? That <laughs> one. <laughs> and we're going to be putting some 203 millimeter rotors on the Project Humpty Dumpty, our Schwinn Taff. And also we're going to put some adapters on there too. We've got some awesome mail for you guys. <laughs> just because of the fact that, this, well, I don't know what's what here, but I think I know what this is because it's kind of open. <laughs> don't be getting all handsy. Holy crap, these are big. Yeah, Everybody gives me crap whenever I become Jesus! handsy. Jesus! <laughs> Oh my Look at God. this! Someone's compensating. Holy crap! Oh. Yeah, we're gonna show you guys more of this. We're gonna do a little comparison yeah, when yeah, we get into the install. Stuff. Yes. Now the next nice package. Walrus. I'm the walrus. Okay. Got some adapters oh, there you go. for the 200 and three millimeter rotors. Gonna need these. These are post mount adapters. We will talk more about that. Why are we ordering stuff from Amazon? You know, I don't know. We really don't like We really don't Amazon. like Amazon. Sorry to say that. Uh, they kind of screwed us over big time uh, when we started the channel. So, guys, what we do, uh, we're going to do similar links. And this, if you guys want any of this stuff on here, if it's not from eBay, if it's from Amazon, we're going to do similar links for you guys down in the description because they are affiliate links, and that also helps our channel out. The knife there. What is that? Look at this. Got some this is what ADHD looks like. Got he just got randomly distracted. Oh, this is oh, a DVD. That's mine. Oh, uh, hang on. <laughs> Club Paradise. I, I, yes, it's mine. I, that's my thing. I collect DVDs of like mainly 80s and some 90s awful movies. This it's is a Blu-ray. Ooh. Yeah. Squeeze. With Michael Keaton. Now, guys, oh you have God. no clue how long I've heard this man. Everywhere we go, we go and try to find movies. Dude. Every damn place. Uh, Michael Keaton with the, the squeeze. Michael Keaton. Yeah. Uh, I need uh, the squeeze with Michael Keaton. Well, finally got the damn Michael Keaton movie. I used to have the poster of that when I was a kid. Yeah, sorry. I used to work in a video store. What the hell? <laughs> it's is, out there. It's going to be a far, far away project. Look at that. This is going to be going on the GT. <laughs> I'm... And this is a 35 millimeter clamp on do, this. Do you need the extras? Yeah. Next, what have we got? Might be a little something, something we're going to be putting on the tab. I'm going to squeeze you in there. <laughs> no, but that's what it looks like Michael Keaton yeah. in the squeeze. There you go. <laughs> All right. Let me see your knife. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's oh, got a hell of a rise on there, buddy. Do your... Yeah, I'm going to do this. On... Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. 780 millimeter bars. Yeah, what I like tell. about them, I think it's a 35 millimeter rise on there, and they don't feel like they're 780s. Put your hands up there. <laughs> They don't. Oh, the lay essay. Do the rowing. <laughs> no, do the rowing. I'm, no, I'm, I'm cruising. But the, really, though, they don't feel like they're 780s, do they? <laughs> Totally. This next thing is I've been getting, I've, I just answered some questions on this. We're just talking to some people. We're going to get some crap. Oh, you can't run that on that bike. Well, you we're going to do just, it. We're going to do it. Anyway, so we're going to take videos. That's what we do. We're doing it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this. We're not going to recommend anyone do it, but we're going to put this on the aluminum cone. You can watch us do it. Yep. You can watch us do it. Oh, I'm pulling this one out. All right. Well, let me have you that. hold that. Suntour. A Pixin. That's right. I said a pix and everybody's been wanting them. Forks. 140 millimeters of travel. Yeah. Which oh my gosh. Looks like um, it's going to be probably too much travel for that bike. But probably too a, much travel for the bike, but that's fine. Anyway, guys, we finally got we'll them. We'll talk more about these when we do the video. Yep. The Suntour Apixin 140 millimeter forks. Make sure you guys turn those notifications on and you subscribe if you're not subscribed because we're going to do an initial impressions. We're going to weigh them, check the pressure, play with them a little bit, install them, take a good look at them. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the uh, TAF. Yeah. It's about time. Yeah. It's about time. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's roll that new intro. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to swap these bars out. I can't wait to put some new bars on here. Do you guys remember this entire time we've been uh, doing this weight and really trying to get the TAF under 
30 pounds. One of the things that sucked after we got done doing the um, install on the zoom brakes and we we're doing the real-time review on them, when I was going down the mountain, I uh, bent the crap out of the other bars and I had to put the original Schwinn Taft bars back on here. That's why they're on here now. So when I put them back on here, what sucked is they were, they're steel. So before we really got to try and get the whole new crank set and everything on here, I had to switch back to these, which up the weight, and then we're finally able to get under the 30 pound mark. But what we're going to do is we're going to weigh this bike after we swap out the aluminum bar and we put those bigger rotors on there in hopes that we will have a bike that's even lighter than it was before. And again, these death grips, if you guys haven't uh, checked these out yet, these are some awesome grips. These things, I'm a, such a big fan of them. Only lock on on one side. A lot of people kind of have the knock on them. They're not full double lock on, but that's fine with me. They haven't failed me yet, and they just feel great in the hand. Really good grips. Put this new one on here and see what she looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to look really good with the rest of the taff, huh? We'll get a little zoomed out here in a second. All right, so the install went pretty well. These bars look uh, very good on the Schwinn taff. Now, let's do a little way off. Let's see what these bars, remember we ordered the exact same ones for the aluminum comp. Let's see what these bars and the original taff bars weigh. Let's see which one weighs more. Stock, 1.57 pounds, all, right. all steel. 0 0.80 on the new 780 aluminum, uh, way lighter. I don't, I don't know the math on that. That's way lighter. <laughs> All right, so the way off is done. Let's go ahead and get to the uh, 203 millimeter rotor install with the adapters. I'm hoping those adapters work. I don't know. I'm trying to order those things on the internet or at hand. All right, so I'm taking this rotor off. I want to show you guys the difference between this is a uh, original that came on the TAF. This is a 160 millimeter rotor. And I'm going to show you guys the difference between that and the 203 and just how funny it looks. Look at the size difference. Would you look at that? Holy crap. Look at that. Damn, that's nuts, isn't it? It looks huge. I'm surprised it's not touching the uh, outsides of the rim or anything. That's crazy big. All right, after we get done mounting these uh, rotors on here, at least this front one for right now, we're going to get some brake cleaner and a shop towel. We're going to go ahead and wipe them down. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get the adapter and let's put it on the front fork of the uh, TAF and then we'll mount the uh, zoom brakes, the calipers, and mount them onto there. All right, so got that taken off. Now, if you can see here on the up, there's these holes that are unthreaded. One here on the top portion and one on the bottom that's unthreaded. That's the ones that we're going to put on the post mount there, just like so. But what I am going to do are these are the ones that I used on the uh, calipers for the zoom brakes. I'm going to put these in there going straight to the fork. And then the ones that the package came with, I'm going to use those on the zoom caliper because they're a little bit longer. And I just don't want to, you know, go too far on the threads on the inside here. So. All right, guys. So I got the wheel mounted on there. Now, before I put the caliper on there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some... Uh, brake parts cleaner and I'm going to spray my shop towel here and I'm going to rub them. Um, I really don't want to put any spacers in between the caliper and the adapter. I want as much contact on themselves as I can get. Okay. Decently snug with it. Okay. Still a little bit of rubbage. Now I'm going to say something probably not that popular of a statement. Most people say, oh, all you have to do with your rotor, keep your bolts loose, squeeze your front brake, and while you hold it, tighten down your bolts and it will be set. There will be no rubbing. Well, guys, that's... That does not work worth a damn. I'm tired of hearing it. It doesn't work. So what I do, right, and when I'm not a professional, I tighten it a little bit. I spin it. Not I a get, professional? Not a professional. I get a good eyes view of where it's open on the back side of the caliper. And then I get my tool and I give it little pecks here and there. Get nice and straight. Squeeze it tight. And then I go from there. Okay? So that whole squeezing crap is okay. for the birds. So we got it to where it's not rubbing. You want to hear it? Ish. Where it's not rubbing-ish. You want to hear it? All right, so you guys can see here on the caliper, and what I was meaning where it looks, it's a little bit funkier, so I'm really hoping the adapter works, is the chain stay, it sits right on the inside where the disc is, right? Most of the bikes that I'm used to, or we're used to here at Wolf Tick Videos, have the post mount up top, so that's going to be a little bit funky, and um, I'm not sure which way we're going to have to mount this sucker in here. I just hope the entire thing fits. Let's go ahead and pull the back wheel off and change the rotor out. You guys can you know, I was thinking on this bike, once we get done doing the rotors, the only thing that's going to be stock on the TAF 
is going to be the frame, the seat post, and the seat. Isn't that crazy? We did it wrong, but we enjoyed well, it. Well, yeah, I mean, we enjoyed it, but we really didn't know where we were going to go with it. We were no. this close to taking it back. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I was pissed on the trails, ready to just take this thing back to Walmart. I mean, it's clearing inside there. It's perfect. Gosh, I'm so glad both of those adapters worked. It's pretty damn silent. How big is that? How awesome does that rotor look? It looks pretty damn cool on there. It's rubbing now after I squeeze the brake. Rubbing's racing. All right, guys, before we look at the bike and its glory with the handlebars and the massive 203 millimeter rotors, let's weigh it. 29.56. All right. Good. We dropped a little more. Did you think it went up? I thought we went up. We're like, Damn, we did something wrong. Sound. Yeah. So with the uh, handlebars, the bigger rotors, we got down to 29.56. It was 29.80. Every little bit counts. I'm getting older and older. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's take a good look at this bike now, and then uh, we'll call it quits. All right, guys. Well, the whole install went pretty well. We appreciate you guys watching Wolf Tick videos. I am so happy that we were finally able to switch out the handlebars. That was something that was driving me nuts from day one ever since I bent the damn thing. So uh, those handlebars are pretty good deal. You guys can check out in the affiliate link some similar stuff uh, to what we use today. And we finally got swapped out the rotors. Now, like I said earlier, most of the time people want to just swap out the front and keep the rear a 180 or a 160. But that's not the way we do it here. Bigger is always better. Uh, check out the uh, description as well. You guys can go down there and buy us a cup of coffee and uh, help support our channel that way. But guys, we will see you on the next episode of Wolf Tick Videos. Appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you got something out of today. Remember, what do we always say, Dad? What do we always say? We are not professionals. We are not professionals.